गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स सो द लास्ट प्रीवियस क्लास आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्स एंड इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एंड कैपेसिटी करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आल्सो वर नाउ फोर्थ लेसन मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म एक्चुअली इन फर्स्ट टू लेसन वी डिस्कस व्हेन द चार्ज इज व्हेन द चार्ज इज एट रेस्ट क्वेश्चन व्हेन आवर द चार्ज इज एट रेस्ट व्हाट हैपन हियर व्हेन द चार्ज इज एट रेस्ट वी ऑब्जर्व इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल Uh, that concept should discuss in current electricity when the charges are moving. What you observe whenever the charges are flowing through the conductor, current concept will discuss in last chapter. Now another topic: moving charges and magnetism. Generally, suppose if want to take this any conductor, whenever the charges are moving, whenever the charges are moving, what happen? Current will be flowing through this conductor. Due to this current, whenever current flowing through this conductor, what happen? this around the conductor magnetic field will be generated that is the oersted experiment oersted said that what he said the current carrying conductor produces magnetic field see this is the current 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 carrying conductor in particular direction so around it it produces magnetic field how you know this means suppose when a magnetic needle you bring near to it it shows the deflection suppose when current in opposite direction magnetic needle shows opposite deflection so he concluded that current carrying conductor produces magnetic field so what is the meaning of that one moving charges produces magnetic field moving charges produces magnetic field also a current carrying conductor produces magnetic field that is the concept of oersted experiment oersted experiment so now another important topic magnetic force what is meant by magnetic force magnetic force means so the force suppose i want to take this q is a charged particle when a charged particle placed in uniform magnetic field what happens the force experienced by a charged particle placed in magnetic field so this is the magnetic field whenever the charged particle placed in magnetic field it experiences force that force is represented as magnetic force what is the magnetic force f is equal to q v b sin theta q v b sin theta see this is the charge this velocity of the particle the velocity of the particle is v when charge of particle is moving in velocity v in a magnetic field so where it's placed in magnetic field so this is the force force velocity v so theta is the angle between v and b v and b so therefore what is the force here the force is equal to q v b sin theta q v b sin theta therefore f vector is equal to q v b sin theta this is the charge this is b this is v this is force what is theta theta is the angle between v and b now in vector form can you write this f vector is equal to q into v cross b v cross b suppose if theta is equal to 0 degrees force will be 0 because of sin 0 0 therefore f is equal to 0 if theta is equal to 90 degrees sin 90 so what happen f is equal to sin 91 because of f is equal to q will be if theta is equal to 180 degrees force is equal to 0 so that theta is equal to 0 degrees means charged particle and magnetic field direction both are in same direction force zero opposite direction force zero when both are in perpendicular charged particle and magnetic field are perpendicular then the force will be maximum otherwise either zero degrees or 180 degrees force will be zero there is no magnetic force is develop when the charged particle and magnetic field are in same direction or in opposite direction but in case when both are perpendicular direction the force will be maximum when the force will be magnetic force is maximum if theta is equal to 0 uh, 90 degrees theta 0 or 180 force will be 0 suppose when the particle is neutral if the suppose when charge is negative when charge is negative what is how can you write this charge is q is negative what how can you write this equation f is equal to minus q into b cross d b cross v is equal to we can write this f is equal to q into b cross v when if charge is negative we can write the formula like this so next when the particle is neutral 
whenever the particle, if a particle is neutral, charge is zero. Q is zero. When Q is zero, therefore force will be zero. If the charged particle is at rest, when charge is at rest, when charge is at rest means Q will be zero. Q uh, velocity will be zero. Velocity will be zero means force will be zero. So what is the meaning? If the charge is neutral, it has no charge. Force will be zero. When the charge has rest position, charge uh, force will be zero and velocity will be zero. So therefore, when you will get the magnetic force will be maximum. Only the particle moving in a magnetic field perpendicular to the magnetic field. The charged particle moving perpendicular to the magnetic field, force will be maximum. Otherwise, in all cases, force will be zero. Force will be zero. So next, low range force. What is meant by low range force? Low range force means generally what is magnetic force? The force experienced by a charged particle placed in uniform magnetic field. The force experienced by a charged particle placed in both electric field and magnetic field is called as low range force. Again, what is low range force? The force experienced by a charged particle placed in electric and magnetic fields. Electric and magnetic fields is called as low range force. Low range force. So the low range force, what is the formula? F is equal to QE plus QV B sin theta. So QE is called as electric force. So F vector is equal to electric force plus magnetic force. So this is magnetic force. This is magnetic force. F E plus F M. F E what is electric force? F E F E is equal to Q E. F M is equal to Q V B sin theta. So therefore now in vector form F vector is equal to Q into E cross E E vector plus V cross B. V cross B. Suppose if theta is equal to 0 degrees, only it has, if theta is equal to 0 degrees, F is equal to QE. So what is the meaning of this one? If theta, when both electric field and magnetic field are in say, uh, charged particle moving in the say, direction of magnetic field, theta 0, when theta 0, it has only electric field, there is no magnetic force. It has only electric force, there is no magnetic force. There is no, at the time, what happened? Low range force. Low range force is equal to electric force. Low range force is equal to electric force when theta is equal to 0 degrees. In case when theta is equal to 90 degrees, if theta is equal to 90 degrees, if theta is equal to 90 degrees, what happened? Theta 0. Force, low range force is equal to electric force. If theta 90 degrees, F is equal to QE plus QEB. See F theta 90, sin 90, 1. Because of this, F is equal to QE plus QEB. But I am writing this minus. Why I am taking minus? Both electric force and magnetic force are perpendicular to each other. So both electric and magnetic force are acting in opposite direction always electric force and magnetic force are acting in opposite direction because of this f is equal to qe minus qvb so when theta is equal to 90 degrees theta 90 means both electric field and magnetic field so charged particle direction and magnetic field both are in opposite direction so that is the low range force magnetic force f is equal to qvb sin theta this is the vector form when theta is when maximum, when it is minimum, low range force, F is zero. when the particle is placed in uniform electric field and magnetic field is called as low range force, F is equal to sum of electric force and magnetic force. So formula you can write, this is the vector form, theta 0, low range force is equal to electric force, theta 90, force is equal to, low range force is equal to QE minus QEB, minus Y minus electric force and magnetic force always perpendicular to each of them. So this is the formulas for low range force and magnetic force. What is the importance of ion state experiment? Next topic, trajectory of a charged particle. So the last topic we discussed already, whenever the charged particle placed in the uniform magnetic field, the charged particle experiences a force. What is that force? Magnetic force. The magnetic force is equal to QVB sin theta. When the charged particle and magnetic field both are in same direction, so 
So what happened here? There is no magnetic force. When the charged particle direction and magnetic field direction are perpendicular to each other, then the magnetic force will be maximum. Fm is equal to QdB. Whenever the charged particle actually is observed is placed in magnetic field, if theta is equal to 0 degrees, the particle gets linear path. Linear, linear path means the particle is same direction. So particle gets linear direction, linear path. Linear path. When charged particle, velocity of charged particle and magnetic field both are in same direction, particle gets linear path. In case, if theta is equal to 90 degrees, the particle gets circular path. Particle gets circular path. Theta 90, the particle moving in circular path in a magnetic field, in a magnetic field. In case, if theta is equal to in between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, the particle gets helical path, helical path, means like this the particle rotates like this. You observe this one. What is theta? The angle between B and B. B and B. If theta 0, particles get circular linear path. If theta 90 degrees, the particle get circular path. Particle moves like in circular path. So, if theta is equal to between the angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, the particle moves like helical path. Like this, it moves. So, this is the case. Suppose, whenever the particle moves in circular path, at the time, the centripetal force is equal to magnetic force. See, the particle moving circular path like this. So, this is the circular path. The radius of circular path is R. Here, this charge is the charged particle. Q is the charged particle. And uh, velocity of the particle V. So, when particle moves along a circular path, the centripetal force, the force acting towards the center, that is centripetal force is equal to magnetic force. Maximum magnetic force. 90 degrees. What is the formula? QVB. So, FC is equal to generally centripetal force. MV square by R is equal to QV into P. <coughs> so, here V cancel. Remaining R is equal to MV by QV. So, what is the radius of trajectory of particle placed in uniform magnetic field? MV by QV. MV by QV. So, this is R is equal to mv by radius of circular path of a particle. Now, see, you know this momentum of the particle. Momentum is equal to mass into velocity. So, mv I am replacing p. So, r is equal to p by qv. Another important another formula, another way to write radius of formula. r is equal to p by qv. Here, p, general p in terms of kinetic energy, root over 2m into e. What is e? Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Here kinetic energy E is equal to Q into P. Q into P and charged particle into potential here. This is not a velocity, this is potential difference. Potential difference. Next, P is equal to 2 EMV by Q into P, where V is equal to kinetic energy or also E is equal to Q into V. So, E is equal to Q into V can substitute in here. So, now one Q taken root Q square. So, one Q cancel. So, we will get this 2 MV by Q. So, this is the another formula to write radius of circular path to get the charged particle placed in the magnetic field. R is equal to mv by qv or p by qv or root 2 mv by qv or 1 by v is equal to 1 by v into root 2 mv by q is the formulas for radius. Formulas for radius. Next, angular frequency. Angular frequency. What is the angular frequency here? What is the formula for angular frequency? You know this frequency? number of rotations per second is called as frequency. Generally angular frequency is a particle moves in circular rotation. So that you represented angular frequency. Angular frequency is equal to omega is equal to b q by m. q b by m. So generally v is equal to r omega 
V is equal to R. What is R value? MV by QB. Into omega. So V cancel. So we will get omega is equal to QB by M. So this is the formula for angular frequency. So therefore omega. But omega formula is equal to 2 by M. What is the 2 pi f? f is the frequency, omega is the angular frequency. So therefore, omega f is equal to qb by 2 pi f. f is equal to qb by 2 pi f. Omega c is equal to 2 pi f. Therefore, f is equal to qb by 2 pi f. But what is time period? You know this time period is equal to what is reciprocal of time period is called as frequency. So therefore, time period is equal to reciprocal of frequency is called as time period. Therefore, time is equal to, time period is equal to 2 pi m by qb. 2 pi m by qb is the formula for time period. So, once again, so the radius mb by qb, p by qb or root 2 mb by qb or 1 by b into 2 m by 2 mb by q, q, where qb is equal to potential difference. It is not a velocity of charged particle. This is the velocity v, but here potential difference. But angular frequency bq by m, frequency equal to qb by 2 pi m, time period is equal to 2 pi m by qb. Very very important formula. Uh, based on this one only, we will get one numerical from this chapter. Omega is equal to qb by m. Next topic, cyclotron. Actually, cyclotron is a device to accelerate the positively charged particles. Accelerate like protons, neutrons, alpha particles. So, what is cyclotron? Cyclotron is a device to accelerate the charged particles like protons, neutrons, alpha but not electrons. It is only accelerate positively charged particles. Actually, the cyclotron has two D's, D-shaped semicircular disks. So, these are two disks, D-shaped disks, placed in magnetic field, placed in uniform magnetic field where charged particle placed in between the D's, between D's or the D's are connecting to oscillator. Whenever supplying the AC to the D's, what happens? The charged particle moves in circular path in D's. So after getting more radius of this particle, the particle comes out of the cyclotron. So now this particle is accelerated, accelerated particle. Through exit, it will come out of the cyclotron. So, based on this concept, cyclotron can be accelerate the positively charged particle like protons, neutrons, and alpha particles. You know this. The formula is equal to R is equal to mv by qb. So, when the velocity of the radius of the particle is increases, means the particle like moves in semicircular path again rotates like circular path when rotate, radius is increases radius increases velocity will be increases when velocity increases means the particle accelerated more when acceleration of the particle through deflects so this is the target based on this deflector target the particle comes out of the cyclotron so this is the accelerated particle so what is the frequency of cyclotron the cyclotron frequency is equal to qb divided by 2 pi m qb divided by 2 pi m and what is the maximum kinetic energy acquired by the electron charged particle in cyclotron so the cyclotron frequency qb by 2 pi m radius is equal to mv by qb then what is the kinetic energy maximum maximum kinetic energy acquired by the particle you know the formula of kinetic energy of mv square but what is v here qb r by m QB R by M, QB R by V is equal to QB R by M. Just substituting here, we will get the formula for kinetic energy Q square, V square, R square maximum by 2 What is R? The radius of the circular path get by the particle. Q square, V square, R square maximum by 2 mega. R maximum, radius maximum. That is then kinetic energy maximum. That is the cyclotron. Cyclotron is a device to accelerate the positively charged particles like protons, deuterons and alpha particles 
what is the cyclotron frequency fc is equal to qb by 2 pi m what is the kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy acquired by the particle is q square b square r square maximum by 2 how you are getting generally ke is equal to half m square but v is equal to based on this formula v is equal to qbr by m just substituting here we get the formula next you know this moving magnetic force next the magnetic force on a charged particle single particle you know this what is the magnetic force on a single particle placed in magnetic field q will be sin theta whenever the particle placed in magnetic field f is equal to q will be sin theta now conductor now this is a conductor placed in a magnetic field placed in magnetic field it experiences force that you call as magnetic force magnetic force actually single particle what is the magnetic force q will be sin theta now it has n number of particles are there n number of particles are there so then current is flowing through the conductor when current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field uniform magnetic field it experiences a force is called as magnetic force the magnetic force is equal to i l b sin theta i l b sin theta what is l here length of the conductor what is i current through conductor current flowing means flow charges are moving when placed in magnetic field it experiences a force fm is equal to i l b sin theta what is theta angle between length and magnetic field length and magnetic field in vector form f vector is equal to i into l cross b i is a scalar quantity current is scalar quantity so length and b here length current is particular length is considered as unit vector length into v so if theta is equal to 0 means length and field are both same direction for so there is no force acting on it if theta 90 both are perpendicular conductor and magnetic field both perpendicular direction f is equal to ilv theta 91 so f is equal to ilv it will be maximum max force will be maximum when magnetic field direction and conductor are in perpendicular then the magnetic force is maximum see i am taking semi circular uh, conductor see this is the semi conductor length is l what is the radius here r diameter is 2 then it experiences a force what is the force when this will be placed in magnetic field what is the force b l into 2 b l into 2 b magnetic field this conductor placed in magnetic field length is l and uh, radius is 2 So B L into two R is the magnetic force. In case circular path conductor is placed in magnetic field, what is the force in this direction? B L into two R. In this direction, B L into two R. The net force is equal to zero. Net force will be zero. So when circular path conductor is placed in magnetic field, the what is the force on this conductor is zero. But the tension in the conductor is equal to T is equal to B L into R. Tension. What is the tension? B L into R net force will be zero. Net force will be zero. So this is force on a current carrying conductor. Generally, single particle Q will be sin theta. Conductor conductor has n number of charge carriers. N number of charge carriers flowing through the conductor. But flowing through the conductor means current will be flowing. When current carrying conductor placed in magnetic field, what is the magnetic force? I L B sin theta. If theta ninety, magnetic force will be maximum. F is equal to I L B should be maximum. Theta zero, F is equal to zero. When theta zero, length and magnetic field in same direction, both are in a perpendicular direction. Forces will be maximum. If semi-conductor, semi-circular, semi-circular uh, conductor placed in magnetic field, what is the force? B L into two R. Circular ring is placed. Circular conductor placed in magnetic field. What is the net force? Will be zero. One direction B L into two R. Opposite direction B L into two R. Net force is zero, but tension is equal to B L into R. 